Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back in another video and today we're looking at a USB-C triple 4K display hub for your PC. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of next videos to come of tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how you can have dual display for your MacBook Air M1s and also the new MacBooks. You can have a um, triple display using the DisplayPort, uh, two HDMIs, which is compatible up to 4K 60 Hertz. Let's open this up and show you what this, can, this thing can do as well. It has a gigabit, which is the ethernet connection as well up to one terabyte. This is what you get in the box here. User manual as well, right there. There you go. It's also the hub here. Right there, pretty cool design. Here we get some adapters. Power adapter right there to plug the thing in. And then the USB-C connection right there. So here is the hub right here. Pretty cool design as I said earlier. There's also the USB-C side right there, uh, the slot to power it up and then to host is like your to your computer. Two HDMI's and one display port right there, uh, USB 3's, USB 2 right there as well and a LAN slot right there for Ethernet. There's two USB 3 extra right there and then the audio and mic right there as well and then your SD cards and TF card right there which is the micro SD cards. So yeah, with this little hub, you'll be able to put all that and uh, we're gonna put that in the test right now. So by putting it right to the host right here, USB-C, it charges our MacBook. I find this really useful as well when I'm transferring files on the go. So look at this, the SD card right there to my computer. So here we have the two U HDMI right there. I also have the USB to my iPhone and then um, my SSD which is right here connected to there as well and then on the other side to power up the monitor right there I have it connected on the USB 3 and then the micro SD card so here it is you're gonna go to this website right here which everything is gonna be linked down below and then we're gonna go with Mac OS or whatever uh, individual drivers that you need i'm just going to go with mac os because we are using the macbook air m1 and here we're going to hit download pretty much this is a display link manager graphics connectivity which works in uh, monterey 12 or uh, big sur 11. basically this works on all macbook air m1s and beyond these are the options here after installed and you can change it your HDMI to whatever you want, 90 degrees, 180 or 270. You can also use, um, have an option to unlock it with the Apple Watch, which is really nice, especially if you are using the MacBook um, on the clamshell mode. So now we have the MacBook Air M1 with three displays, one over here and one down here. You can then rearrange the displays as well if you wanted to. Just for example, you want this HDMI to be displayed over on this side instead you can do that right there so that you can drag your windows like so so for example you want your MacBook on clamshell mode you'll be able to do that with this the Safari and all the display that we had there we'll just go to the displays that you have that are open right here you can use a Bluetooth mouse and Bluetooth keyboard just so you can control them Pretty nice. Here we're gonna test out transferring files as well on our SSD to the Lumix card here and also the micro SD card, uh, pretty much one-to-one -one right here. I have pretty much four gigs of footage right here from the MacBook to the SSD and it's really quick as you can see there. Pretty much in seconds, it's all done and ready to go. So now let's test out if it's uh, transferring from my Lumix card, which is the SD card to an SSD hard drive. As you could see here, um, 
it'll take about two minutes a little bit slower but not a big deal at all on uh, close to four gigs of file there now obviously having a display is really good as well because you can use it as a viewer just like that so while i am editing this video you can control everything from here and then you can view it from there or you can use this as a clamshell mode and view everything right on to there while I closed it. And then once you open your MacBook, everything will go back to where it was. Pretty nice. And that's for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new hub, just like this one. Like I said, it was able to do a multiple displays which is really good if you want a dock station for your mac mini the new mac minis that are coming up like m2 or maybe the m1 pro and m1 extreme you know like the the new ones that are coming up right now they'll be able to do that with this and um, it works as well for windows pc so that's really good thanks for watching everyone i hope you guys have a good day make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that like button as well so you can beat that youtube algorithm Hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.